Y'all, look at my feet. This is not... My hair ain't doing too much better either. Well, everything that I need for my hair should be coming tomorrow. So we can get this hair situation under control. And then I, um, I have a pedicure appointment um, next week. So I was going to do my nails, but um, that's not really a necessity. Uh, but my feet, oh, nah, sis, we can't be looking like this. And I probably could do it myself, but I tried doing my toes myself before and it didn't come out good. So, yeah, I'll just leave that to the professionals for right now. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do that. But, anyways, good morning, y'all. Hi. We are in week two, day four. And my stomach is going down. Yay. Um, I really need to push myself. When I get tired, I need to just keep going. I feel like when I get tired, it's like mind over matter in a sense. Because when I get tired, like, I just slow down. And low-key, I could probably still be going. Because people do it all the time. Not probably. I can keep going. But I just be like, oh, nah. My legs feel like they about to cave in. Let me stop. No. <sighs> That's what you're supposed to push yourself even more. But I am happy with myself because I've been consistent since the first day um i had a few slip up here and there as far as like um eating sweets because i had stuff that loki i could have just thrown away but i just wanted to eat it and get it out um instead of throwing it away but one slip up here or there is not gonna hurt the process i realized i thought it would but it didn't um and for two days straight, I've drank eight bottles of water consistently. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, drinking water has turned out to not be as hard as I thought it would be. So that's pretty bomb. Um, I need to do my inches. Should I do it today? or No, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it, I'll do it Saturday. I'll do it Saturday because then it'll be officially be two weeks because I don't want to do it Friday because it still will be a day that I'm working out because we're off Saturday and Sunday. So I'll do like measurements because um, I don't think I put up my measurements like I said I was. Dang, I forgot. But um in that video in the description box there is my measurements are in the description box i just didn't put it in a video but i will for sure on saturday do those measurements and put them up so we can see if there is any difference you know i'm a little excited i'm also sometimes i'm also taken back in this whole journey because at first to me, it was just like a diet, but I'm realizing that it's more of a lifestyle change, which makes it a little bit more easier to manage mentally for me anyways. Um, it gets a little hard sometimes because I look at other people's like results and stuff and they're talking about how they lost six pounds um, in a week and all this stuff. And I'm just like what <laughs> you doing the same thing i'm doing and you're eating off the same list that i'm eating off of like what how have you lost six pounds in a week but hey uh i'm about to go do this fasted cardio and then um get up and then make some breakfast and then yeah so she wants us to do i think i told you this in another video she wants us to do like fasted on the days that you do cardio she wants us to do it fasted so that'd be your first workout of the day 
then she wants you to eat breakfast then then she wants you to do the rest of your workout have your protein shake then have your other meal so if i eat breakfast i feel like i probably want the food to digest a little bit so i would say like probably like an hour later then i'll do the rest of the workout i mean if you can do it all at once i would prefer to but I feel like I probably get even more tight. Like, I don't know. I'm still trying to work it out. I'm trying to do it the way that she said because this is also a review as well. So you kind of want to follow the guidelines that are given to you and not freak it your way until the end of the review. Then you can do whatever it is you want. It just makes sense to me to just do the way that the person has outlined for you. So, I'm just going to do what she said, and um, yeah. So, let me get dressed and get ready for this workout. Burpees. Yay. So, this is breakfast. I don't want to say more. Hey, Google. Pause. Because last time I got copyrighted and I forgot to take the music out. But anyways, I just finished my HIIT workout. And um, this is breakfast. It's super light because I think I'm going to have a heavy um, lunch. But I don't know yet. Because I'd be thinking then I don't. But anyways, um, oatmeal, bananas, a half a tablespoon of peanut butter. I did not measure it, but I, that looks like half of a tablespoon or maybe even a tablespoon. And some hemp seeds on top for some added fiber and protein. And then, you, of course, celery juice. I still have my water. That's not the water I was drinking, though. Is it the water I was drinking? Yeah, it's the water I was drinking. Crazy thing is, is that I ran out of water, y'all. So, I only have these two bottles left. But, um, I have this big alkaline water that I got from Rumo when I went to the dollar store. So, someone has to buy some more water. I would rather get the pure the water that I could purify in the thing, but those are dis yo disgusting. When me and Soldier Slim bought the Purig thing, um we filter it out in the it was a Brita and we filter it out in the the sink like you're supposed to and all that stuff. Trash. It tastes like straight up sink water and I couldn't even digest it. It cold was semi not even semi doable but look so until i get um a fridge that comes with its water thing attached i'm gonna just have to keep buying water okay it is what it is so the problem with sitting down and eating after you have worked out is that you get tired so I think what she's trying to say is that usually on a fasted cardio, um, this one gnat, um, the fat is still burning after you're finished. So... That's why she wants you to do your cardio fasted. Um, but a lot of times, as people like me, who raise your hand, like to work out in the morning and like to work out without anything in their system. So I guess you do a fasted cardio, it's burning the fat even once you finished. You're still, your body is still energetically doing stuff inside. Then you eat. And I don't think you eat anything too heavy. Then you get up and you work out again. Have your protein shake. An hour later, then it's what, like lunchtime? So I guess it works because you get all your meals in one. But then what about the days where there's no fasted cardio? Do you just like get up and work out regularly? 
because she doesn't want you to work out on an empty stomach. Man, listen, I don't know <laughs> this, the, the full science behind it. As I dig deeper into this whole uh, lifestyle change and fitness journey and health and love yourself from the inside and out, which you guys know basically is my brand. Um, I have more information for you, but I kind of like these reviews of different fitness programs because a lot of times we go and we work out and we don't know what the heck we doing. Real talk, we don't know what we doing. We just, we watch a couple of videos on YouTube and formulate our own like little program. And then sometimes we don't see the results or we're not going as hard or pushing ourselves as hard as we're supposed to. And we're left blah. So if you guys want to see more um, reviews on fitness programs, I got you. But we are still on this one. <laughs> So I'm about to do the second portion of the workout, which is um, arms and abs. My arms, for sure, I need never to skip them, them days, because my arm, my upper body strength is weak. Like, I showed y'all before. When I tell you my arms, this little flubba lubba, whatever, my arms literally have, I feel like have been the same size for all my life I've had this bracelet I want to say since like high school we know we're near high school anymore and she still fits I never gain weight in my arms I always gain weight in my my midsection and my legs literally upper body my breasts get big when I lose weight, they start to die. Is, am I the only one? Your, your breasts get bigger because my breasts ain't big now, but they was never big at all. So if I got a little plump, because that was because of weight gain. But I'm rambling at this moment. I'm still finishing this one bottle. This is what happens in the morning, but then throughout the day, I just like devour my water. So... I bought two cases of water, lasted me roughly two weeks, a little short of two weeks because tomorrow is Friday and I don't have any water. So almost two weeks with two cases of the like the 32 um, bottles. So I'm going to have to buy, push up and get three cases of water. Who about to carry that all up the stairs though? I guess me, because I'm single. <laughs> like, I can't call nobody to do it for me. Understanding that she trying to kill me off, like d them little um. Ooh, my God, come on, stay still. Them little um walkout planks, and I thought I hated burpees. No, I don't like jump squats. Nope. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. We're in week 10 of a series we're calling Help Me Crisis. So I'm telling you this, I want you never to take lightly what God has us sitting in. It is a move of God. And then he doesn't want it to be a move for our church. He wants it to be a move for your life. Do you know how dangerous that is? This is not 
not self-help. What you would be at the end of the, the, end of the night is hungry. Now you wouldn't be hungry, you'd be angry. Y'all know that's angry and hungry. May, may, may I suggest that you use some of your spiritually pain? The fries didn't necessarily come out the way I wanted to. Um, so we're going to have to try that again. But this is lunch. Turkey burger, no bun with avocado, um, some red cabbage, carrots, sweet potato fries, and a little sauce that I made. Simple and plain, but still fulfilling and tasty. Yay! Uh, crash course. Let me have the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curve, then asking me for intercourse.